Well, that's right, Lisa. Prior to last night's newscast, we had a chance to sit down and talk with Governor Brown about his unique approach to this year's presidential campaign. And one of the major issues facing the candidates this year is the complicated issue of national health care. You had a key point a few seconds ago. You were talking about nationalized health care. One of the mileposts coming out of Pennsylvania in the race there was people saying, hey, my, my health care bills are too high. A couple plans in the Congress right now, uh, both Republican and Democratic sponsored. One Democratic Congressman Russo of Illinois calling for a health care plan similar to that, which is in effect in Canada. Do we go with the Canada like. plan? Yes. Or do we go with? We go with an American plan, but we model it on the, on the Canadian model. You know why? Because they're able to spend $500 less per person each year than we do, and they live two years longer. Now, if they can pull that off, we got to learn from that and create our own American version. But that's a single payer, universal access, with heavy emphasis on prevention and environmental health measures to cut down the growing and excessive costs. But how do we sell this then to the, the senior citizens or those who would need specialized care who in Canada might be placed on a list to some extent where it has seen another socialized Well, you know what? We countries. have a lot of Americans who are going north uh, to have a lot of, uh, to have babies, to have uh, a, a number of procedures. So it works both ways, and I, and I have seen the surveys that indicate the vast majority of Canadians are happy with their plan, whereas a relatively small minority are happy with ours. Getting back to the campaign, how do things stand from your perspective at this point? Are you in it for the long run? I'm in it for the long haul because I think our country is in deep crisis, economically and politically. And the existing candidates are basically going at it the same old way, begging money from lobbyists, political action committees, and those that will come to gourmet dinners and hand them a thousand dollar check. Uh, all of them are depending on a corrupt source of money that makes it impossible to serve the American people and make any progress. Now, as you may remember, Brown has taken a pledge this year not to accept any political campaign contribution that is over $100. And while he readily admits to being a part of the political process, which he now chastises, he says that experience will only help him in the long run. Jeff? Thank you, John. 